Hello, guys from Texerera. I'm here with Cassie. She's going to tell us what she does at Belkin and also shows the new toys that we're going to see around uh, 2024. Awesome. Yes. Hi, everyone. I am Cassie Panetta. I handle some of the PR and communications at Belkin. And I am excited to tell you all about the exciting new products that Belkin is announcing at CES 2024. Um, but first we talk about, but first, before we talk about all of the products, I just want to take a moment to go back to last year's announcement to just give a one year update since then. So last year, Belkin had announced um, its commitment to building products more responsibly. We had made an announcement that we're transitioning from um, the use of virgin plastics to utilize post-consumer recycled materials. So since that announcement, we have transitioned over 200 products to use PCR, short for post-consumer recycled products, and um, replaced 64 metric tons of virgin plastic with PCR materials. So we're very, very, very excited about that. But obviously, we know that we have a lot more work to do. Um, but in the spirit of accountability and just letting everyone know um, and transparency our progress, wanted to provide a little update. So yay. <laughs> and then that's that great. Get into, yeah, right. I know it's exciting. But yeah, we're, we're excited for this journey. Um, OK, so products. So. Chi2, we're going to be talking about Chi2, we're going to be talking about GAN, and then I have a special little new product that I'll show you at the end. So you might remember in September, Belkin actually announced um, its first ever Chi2 products. These yep. have passed the first wave of certification, actually. Um, and I so I want to just provide a little update on those. This is a refresher. This is one of the Products we announced um, in September, it's a little convertible stand, and then it goes down to like a pad. So this is one of the products we announced. And then this one is a um, two-in-one slash three-in-one because it has a little port here. So is that for headphones and also uh, the phone? Exactly. This is the Qi2 um, pad for the Qi2 enabled device. This is for earbuds, like Falcon earbuds. <laughs> and then we have a little USB-C port. So this is going to be sold with like a little dongle for Apple Watch, but it's a USB-C port. So technically you can kind of plug in whatever USB-C um, device. So those are going to come to market um, very, very early um, January or let's say January. One question about the first one. So the use case yeah. of the first one is going to be charging and also streaming, something like that? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, It's a, there's a lot of uses for it. So yeah, the main one is to charge. And then if you want like a different kind of angle, if you're streaming or if you're FaceTiming, you can lift it up. Um, and then I think also for portability, like for people that just want to easily pack something to, for travel, it works for that as well. I use it as like a little stress device I just kind of like you know <laughs> pulled it up, that also up and down <laughs> so many functions for this thing <laughs> um so yeah those are exciting those are our first Chi2 products I think Belkin is actually going to be um maybe one of the only brands with two Chi2 certified uh chargers in the first wave so Stay tuned. I'll follow up with like the availability exactly on when are those when those are going to be in market. Yeah, but just... and also it's important to know because you know that usually you see a video and uh, you guys get to show a lot of fun stuff, but we we don't know if it's going to be around Colombia and Latin America. So that I know, will be awesome. For sure, yes, I will definitely circle back with you on availability in those markets as well as with pricing. Um. Out of curiosity, is Chi2 is Chi2 something that's that you know those markets are excited about? Or yeah, is it... actually yeah. we are. We we talked about it with Rafa uh, because 
most of the audience wanted to know, like, for example, the speeds, the benefits and things yeah. like that, because uh, if you are not a, an iPhone lover, you can also get some benefits. It's not going to be the same, right. but it's right. going to work. Right, because in Colombia, a lot of the um, a lot of people use Android devices, right? Yeah, because uh, iPhone around it's a little bit expensive, but mm -hmm. uh, it's it's growing even though yeah. because uh, it's secure and it has a lot of benefits. So, so we have both. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Okay, perfect. Well, yes, we're excited for Chi Two as well. I'm going to show you a couple more Chi Two products that are going to be announced at CES. So the first, this might look very familiar. I see it in your background, actually. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> the three it. Three <laughs> in one, yeah. <laughs> so that is the MagSafe version. This is going to be the Chi2 version. So super exciting. Looks obviously kind of the same. The There are little differences, though. Little but major. Um, one being that this rotates. Wow, that, that's yeah. unexpected. <laughs> I, unexpected, but so useful. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously this is quite helpful when you're like streaming or FaceTiming to get the right angle. Like me, if I'm putting my makeup on, which this also sits at my vanity, it, it helps if I'm like just doing a little touch up at different angles. <laughs> so there's that. Um, we have the Chi pad here. Uh, same five Ooh. watts. Yeah. It, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see there is, that there is a shape over there, but, yeah. but it, I'm not, I was not sure if that was going to continue or not. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. So this is going to be the same kind of five watts for earbuds, but obviously I know that some Android devices, you could place those on here as well. Um, And then this is like a fast charging module for Apple Watch. Got it. So three in one. It's still here. three in one, three in one. And then it has a little braided cable that's hardwired in super durable. And then at the end of it is um, a little USB-C connector. Okay. Great. Okay. So this is going to be available March, 2024. Um, it's going to be, I'll get you the local pricing, but it's also made of 75% PCR. So we're not giving up on the PCR. We mean every word. So most of our products will incorporate PCR, if not all. Sounds good. Okay. So that's the three in one. And now our next Chi2 product lineup is. Let me just make sure I <laughs> these don't okay. fall. Okay. You, you have okay. a lot of surprises. I've got over lots there. of yeah, a lot of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I the love Chi2 power bank. Yeah, they're so good, right? We love a magnetic power bank because we don't need any more cables. However, there are USB-C ports. So in case you did want to charge something with a cable, that's possible. So these are the Boost Charge um, magnetic power banks. They come in 10K, 8K, and 5K. So we'll start with the 10K here. Obviously, this is a Qi2 pad. So this can charge your device um, up to 15 watts if it's Qi2 enabled. And then it also has two USB-C ports. Um, so if you want to charge three devices at once, this is the power bank that you so, want. Quick question. You, you can charge it and also charge another device at the same time? Correct. Yes, it has pass-through charging. So if you wanted to ch charge two devices at once while charging the power bank, you can definitely do that. If you wanted to just charge three devices without charging the power bank itself, that's also possible. Um, so really great for like long flights because there's a kickstand as well. So you can just set it down, watch a show, do whatever you want. <laughs> Super Sounds convenient. Sounds good. You can yeah. stream as you use it and, and uh, be sure that your phone is going to be charged. Exactly. Exactly. So the 10K has the capacity um, to charge your Qi2 enabled device around like 1.7 times. Um, so this is good to have, I think, for like if you're going on a to a trade show, to Disneyland, <laughs> just a long day out. Well, you'll need to see yes, exactly, should be great. <laughs> exactly. The but everyone's best friend at CES. Um. Okay, this is the 8K. So this will charge your T2 enabled device around one and a half times with the T2 pad, and then it has one USB-C port for an extra device. So this is kind of like everyone's everyday kind of 
thing just to have in your bag. So that's good. And then the 5K, this is our team's favorite because it's just so cute. This is like a little, <laughs> it's a little top off for your phone, you know, just in case um, you just, it's like on low battery for like a few minutes. You want to just recharge it a little bit. So, so this also has. Mm -hmm. Quick question about the family. Yes. How much does it weigh? Because it should be like a little bit uh, heavier, the, 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 the top is one. The... You know, yes, I have to get, let me find the, I'll get the weights for you when in the follow-up when I send you all of the assets, but they're pretty light. I mean, let's see, I'm just gonna do a little, <laughs> what is this like a quarter pound? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know the, what the metric. Thicker or is the same thick? So this is the 10K. This oh, is the okay. 5K. So you can see okay. it's like, you know, this one's much skinnier. I think if you have, you, you've, um, you've had the 5K, right? Of our yeah. magnetic one. So it's the same size. The 5K is the same size as that. Okay. Got it. So the 8K might be like five sheets of paper. Thicker. This is my best oh, friend. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get you the exact weights, though, when we um, when I send you the assets. Okay. Um, so, these are going to be made with 72% PCR. And they will come in black and white when they hit the market. Okay. So, those are our T2 products. Any questions or anything? No, I have been making all the questions that I have because otherwise I will forget. I, I, usually <laughs> you guys get to show a lot of products and it's better to, to ask, as I say. Yes, exactly. I love that. I love the real-time uh, questions as well. Okay, so next we're going to talk about GAN, gallium nitride. Have you Are you familiar with GAN technology? Totally. If you need to charge something that's really important, it's really useful to, to know about yes. it. Otherwise, you will end up buying any charger. Exactly. Yes. Gallium nitride. So this is very important for, um, let's say, multifunctional chargers because it basically allows um, less heat in a charger so that you can pack more, I guess, more power into something that's small and compact. So um, what I'm going to show you is not small and compact, but when you consider all of the power, it definitely is. So this is our four port, 200 watt GAN charger. It has a combined 140 watts here and then 60 watts on this side. So you could charge um, like a PC at 65 watts. A MacBook and then Pro, for example. A MacBook like Pro, that. exactly or fast charge for um, devices at the same time. So this along with the 10K power bank are going to be great CES um, accessories. Um, so let, me, let me ask you something. Yeah. The cable, how is the cable? Because I, I don't see any cable over there. Is the is cable is- Oh, okay. Is the yeah, usual, the cable, yes, it's the usual. Let me see, it's going to be, let me check my notes. I believe it's five feet, a five foot cable, but I'll, I'll also come back to you on that. Actually, and it weighs you, a pound. you have a similar product right now in the market, but it, it we should do. have less power. We do. It's 108 watts, I think, and it has two USB-A ports. So yeah. that's the thing. Our GAN, our GAN portfolio is very, very diverse depending on the needs of the consumer. So some people do want the USB-C because they have, you know, all USB-C devices, but some still have their legacy devices and need that USB-A without, you don't, they don't need that much power. So yes, okay. this is the newest one to the collection. And then in comparison, so this charges four devices with 200 watts. This is a 150 watt power adapter for one device. So you can kind of see the difference there. You hit four devices with this and one device with this. So yeah, very, the, the, very the other one is, is really big for just one device. <laughs> exactly. Right. So I know. And then my imagine if you have four devices that need that, you have to carry four of those. Four so. of those. <laughs> I mean, that is too much for my luggage. You know, I got to make room for clothes and shoes. <laughs> and, and for your bag. If you, if you exactly. have a backpack, 
Yeah. I, like, exactly. Um, okay, so that is the GAN charger, 200 watts. And now I'm going to show you our cute little GAN dock. This is our six in one GAN dock. So this has an HDMI port to connect to your monitor. It has an Ethernet. I think I mixed it up. Ethernet. <laughs> yeah, Ethernet this side Ethernet. and HDMI, HDMI this one. Okay. Yeah. Ethernet here, obviously, for a hardwired internet connection because Wi-Fi, in case it's not reliable, this is going to be super helpful. Um, we have a 96-watt power delivery USB-C port. So basically, we're fitting all of that power you don't need another kind of like adapter like that one you can get all of the power into this small form factor right here so you can plug in your laptop and then we have two usba ports so a consumer insight study that we did uh, we found that most people still use wired connections on their desktop so whether that be a wired keyboard or a wired mouse um, they're still very widely used. So we made sure to incorporate two USB-A ports for most users. And then um, another USB-C port because there are obviously still USB-C devices out there. So totally. So yeah, I'm going to so, show you. So, so the one in the side is an input that with, with power delivery. And the mm -hmm. other one that you just show uh, right near to the USB-A, it's an output just for the audience yes correct yes correct okay and then i want to show you i'm going to take my camera crew to my desk so i can show you exactly how we've set it up okay field this trip. is dynamic <laughs> yeah exactly we're taking a field trip to my office <laughs> okay so you can see here we have our monitor connected to the hdmi we have our ethernet uh, plugged into the back port and then our MacBook Pro into the 96 watt power delivery. That's the one that's being mirrored onto the display. We have a USB-C thumb drive. And then we left the two USB-A ports open because some people, if they wanna come and like plug and play and their Bluetooth isn't connecting, they'll use that. I personally, I need my like colorful keyboard that's wireless, so I have that on my desk. Okay, so that's that. Any questions on that product? No, I, I'm trying to digest it because it has a lot of inputs. It, it looks right? really cool. It's, and it's very small. That's like the magic of GAN technology. Usually docks, they take up so much space on your desktop. It's really awesome with GAN. It can make things so much smaller and still pack so much power. So it's a personal favorite of mine. It's super cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it boosts through. It should. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so I think that is going to be. Oh, I that's I I don't have local pricing in front of me, but I will tell you when it's available. It's going to be available. Okay. Yeah, uh, the first half of the year in Latin America markets. Okay, so so far all the products that we have seen, they are going to be available on the first half. Yes. So yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now an exciting product. I want to introduce you to my camera person. Who I knew that, that, that this has a purpose that you, you, you yeah. have something behind the camera. <laughs> Are you wondering like what the camera person was doing? Like what, is it a person? Is it a robot? Okay. Now I just got to figure out how to switch my camera oh did i do this okay oh this guy <laughs> looks really awesome so cute right so this please yeah. meet the auto tracking stand pro from belkin we affectionately call her bb83 because star wars and belkin's anniversary or belkin with the year belkin was born um so this is the auto tracking stand pro she is the First works with dot kit accessory or for certified works with dot kit accessory. And I'll show you exactly kind of what that means in a second. So, so quick question. Does it include a rechargeable battery? Because you know that in, in a previous version, that was 
Uh, I'll show with Topper. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So you're familiar, obviously, with the previous version. This yeah. is going to be like the elite version of that one. So yes, it does have a rechargeable battery. Let me show you. I'm gonna have I have a little demo for you so you can see exactly all of its capabilities. Great. Stop this. Okay. Okay, so can you see everything here? Yeah, I see the tripod and I see now the dimensions of the gadget. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So as you can see, yeah, it's on a tripod. The one that I showed you is on the table. So you can see there's like a little tripod socket here that fits with any, you know, kind of standard tripod. Okay. So when I said it's the first certified dot kit accessory, I just want to explain a little bit what that means. Um, dot kit is an automated, automated subject track tracking platform from Apple. They announced it in June at WWDC at their Worldwide Developers Conference. Um, I don't think it was named DotKit at the time, but it was something that was- Yeah, named. actually they just talk about the concept, but uh, that name, uh, I haven't heard it before. So it's great that you clarify that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you a little demo. For this, you're going to need um, an iPhone 12 or later because it needs MagSafe to connect to the MagSafe module here. Um, and then also the phone has to be on iOS 17 or later to take advantage of the docket technology. So what you're gonna do is take your iPhone, you're gonna unlock it, and then it pairs via NFC. So you just tap it to the front and then it'll say locating your accessory. Okay, now we are set. <laughs> and then it once it uh, locates it, it'll configure and connect. So I'm just going to press connect and then you'll see a little nod from it to tell me it's ready to go. But first she's configuring because she needs to understand what okay, she Okay, so quick about. question. Can I, can I use it with a MagSafe case or not? Yeah, the Mag, it works with MagSafe. It's the same MagSafe module. So if you have a MagSafe case that's up to like three millimeters thick, it will work. Okay. Okay, did you see the little nod that she gave me? Yeah. She, <laughs> she's like, okay, let's do this. Okay, so this, I'm gonna turn on the camera app. It has native integration, like I said, so no, um, no third-party apps that you need to download. You just open the um, camera app on your iPhone or you can use any kind of third-party app that's um, developing with DotKit, so. Microsoft Teams, hopefully Instagram or Canva or any, so, I guess. Actually, you read my mind. I was, I was going to ask you if I can use this with social media because in the past, that's uh, one of the biggest questions that, that I got from the first review. Yes, so exactly. Basically, I think virtually any kind of like social media platform that utilizes the camera on the iPhone will be able to okay. uh, and manage it. On web, web conferencing apps, I figured because you have been using it on Zoom that it should work also on Teams, FaceTime and the other ones. Exactly. So we've been, yes, as you can tell, we used it on Zoom. We've been using it on Microsoft Teams for the other ones. Um, I have not tried the all of the other web conferencing apps, okay. but I think the, the, um, the idea is that virtually any kind of like app that uses the camera on the iPhone and that is integrated within their DotKit developers program, we'll be able to use it. Great. So, okay, so as you can see, she's following me around. And then also I'm gonna unplug this. So you can see she does have a um, battery inside. So. When she's charged in, she's charging my phone with MagSafe at up to 15 watts. And then when it's unplugged, she has a battery life of about five hours. Okay, and I see that, can you move a bit faster? Because that was the other problem that we used to have, that if you move fast, it's going to take you out of focus. Yeah. I, 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 so right now the speed is better. Okay, that's great. Am I moving fast enough? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In the past, 
if you have used the previous version, you will see that 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 it was taking longer to to follow you. Yes, exactly. So this one, and this is actually a, a like prototype. This is like a very very early prototype. So I think we're still trying to finalize the speed of how fast it moves. Um, you'll you'll also be able to tell. Obviously, we've been having this conversation for a while. And you did not hear any sound. It's very 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 quiet. So you can rotate, obviously, as I did, we do 360 degrees horizontally, and then I'm not super tall, but you can see <laughs> <laughs> it goes down to like 90 degrees of tilt as well. Yeah, so that, that's also cool. an improvement, totally. I know, yeah, there's, this, is, this is the elite version. And then we all know that the back camera of the iPhone is superior. So what we're going to do is Switch the camera, and it's found me. Oh my God, this is new <laughs> also. <laughs> so it's great if I'm a professor and I'm like teaching a class virtually, amazing for that. If I am a um, travel blogger or content creator, I can easily type my content in the hotel and then take it on the go with me and show them like, I don't know, the Eiffel Tower or whatever marvel i may be around on that day at that's that time. great uh, and is it going to receive any kind of updates is that on the life cycle of the product oh the product itself yeah is it going to receive any updates i mean we'll i i'm sure right we're always iterating and in, innovating on new things so yeah i think we always challenge ourselves to do better and be better so i imagine We'll listen to the consumer insights on this first iteration and figure out the better a, a way to better ourselves. Right. And do you have a price tag so far, or it's going to come after or during the launching? Um. So the price is going to be one seventy nine ninety nine US. Let me check on the um, pricing for the Latin America markets. Right. Um, the, the hope is that this will be available to order, um, in January when we announce, but obviously this is kind of a time where the development cycle is, um, uh, what you call it's finicky because just the holidays and everything, we're not sure when things are going to land and be available. So that is subject to change. I will let you know, cert like firm pricing and availability as soon as I know it. And then let's see what else. Oh, and then I want to mention, of course, that it's made with 75% PCR. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, what do you think? I think it's awesome. That For me, this is one of the best products that you have shown so far. Yes, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is the one I'm I'm particularly excited about. I personally am going to use this for FaceTime because I'm constantly walking around everywhere while I'm FaceTiming. So personal use, I can see it being so big for content creators, really big in like the telehealth space, uh, virtually anything, honestly. So yeah, we're really, really excited for it. This is our first product, obviously, that's so different from our usual like charging and cables and docks. So this is going to be an exciting avenue for us to innovate in. So is this going to be compatible with uh, the portrait camera of the iPhone? Because where you can change the lighting and things like that? Yeah. So right now it works with like video, right? Because it has to track you when you're going to be moving. Let me see if the video, I don't know if video has portrait mode, does it? Yeah, because it, it, you guys launched a product, but it's like a small ring where you put it like a, on top of the MacBook or the iMac. And it's compatible with the, with the portrait, and also you can do kind of like tutorial, so you can split the 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 screen in two. Oh, like with continuity camera, I see. Exactly. Um, exactly. Um, you know, I am not sure, but I'll definitely look into it and get back to you on that. Okay. Thank you. Looks awesome. Yay! We're so excited. Okay, well, please do, do keep me posted if you go to CES. We'd love to meet you in person. Okay, I and will do. As soon as I'm sure, I, I will let you know. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much for meeting with me. I'll circle back with you on like all of the press assets so you can 
see all the press releases, imagery, and then, of course, local pricing and availability. Thank you. Thank you.